Hey there, Philip here and today I finally have an update that is about gameplay of Giant Robot game that I added uh, last week and it's uh, a, it's about like the core of the gameplay that I hope to, to have here, right? So Giant Robot game is a game where you are a giant robot and you, you know, go around uh, the world and, and shoot at other giant robots and so on and so forth, uh, but like the core that I'm trying, the, the gameplay loop that I'm trying to recreate here with my very limited resources is that kind of um, base conquering mechanic that you know from places like Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Far Cry series, Just Cause series, um, uh, and others, right? So for uh, what I mean by this is that in many games you have these like open worlds uh, often uh, and then in these open worlds you have these bases, like enemy bases and you are free in these games to figure out how exactly you want to take them over and that's kind of the appeal I think, at least for me, is that you are... Uh, uh, you can create a plan, like, okay, I'm going to approach this by doing this and this. And then you execute the plan, and sometimes the plan doesn't work, and sometimes it does, but in both cases it's something interesting, something dynamic, and it's it's kind of your game, right? It's not just, oh, do this, do that, and then you win. Uh, so he, here's just like a short clip of this is just cause, which is like a very over the top kind of action in game, right? And in here, I uh, I think okay, so I'm going to liberate this town. Uh, I have commandeered a uh, uh, helicopter, right? And now I'm like kind of checking it out, still outside of actually not outside of views. So I'm in view of authorities, as you can see here. And then I'm going to like, oh, okay, so uh, here you're liberating uh, a town from uh, some kind of a dictator, I think. It's been a while since I played this. Uh, but, uh, you, you know, you have to like destroy his propaganda stuff and, uh, and then not get killed, right? And right now it's just, uh, it's just like me, you know, using one vehicle but you can jump out of the vehicle and you can use this ridiculous uh, mechanic where you have a, uh, what's it called, it's this line and then you have parachutes and you know, you have a bunch of ways to liberate stuff and to, to just wreak, wreak havoc, wreak havoc. Uh, anyway, so so th this was a successful right mission, but the, the thing is, is that I could have approached it a different way. I could have uh, come through this on like a motorcycle or whatever. I could have uh, brought uh, a boat, whatever I, I fancied. And then I, I could have like be stealthy or something like this, right? So I wanted something like this for my game, for Giant Robot game. And so uh, the, the, kind of, the idea is that you're saving humanity as a robot. And so you have these this uh, like these evil robots that are against humanity and they are uh, uh, basically th they when they take over a town it's basically the end for humans and so your task in every mission is going to be rescue the humans and get it get the hell out of there because they're always there's always more of those evil robots than of you, right? So um, let's let's just uh, this is the briefing screen that I like put together in a very short amount of time. Just telling you, you know, has taken a position around a human settlement. Uh, they will not be hostile f uh, towards you at first. This is important, uh, and I'll show you how. Uh, take the time to scout and prepare and then rescue all the humans and run, right? So we're going to jump into the sector. Um, and this is the same map that you know from previously. But like right now you can see, or you can't, but there's a human over here, right? Uh, and there's a human over here. 
And these are the enemy robots, right? So the team should say order, ouch, sorry, human. Um, this is the human. Uh, but you can see that they are enemy, but they're right now, and this is something else that I uh, added, they are just like looking around, you know. No, oh, stop it, I'm not going, I still have, there's some, still some things that I uh, haven't implemented well in terms of uh, going around. Anyway, so I, I see a human here, I see a human there, uh, and I can do things like, okay, I'm gonna deploy a turret here in, in the forest. I'm going to deploy another turret over here. Uh, like for example, bam. And uh, then, actually I'll take that human on my way out. So I'll take this human. No, I thought I fixed this. Uh, anyway, so I, I say rescue, the robot will come there, and now suddenly everyone's not my friend, right? But I am prepared. The, the, I have my turrets uh, on them. Uh, I am in the, sh the shade. So like even though this large, um, they are definitely, uh, they have advantage. Uh, I am outgunned. This one is <laughs> unarmed. Uh, I, I am able to win. And now, like, uh, instead of just like you know fighting them thoughtlessly, uh, let me repair the leg. Uh, I can just focus on deploy. Uh, I can focus on uh, getting away and. Uh, you know, maybe taking the taking the turrets. Oh, they're destroyed. Okay, and then taking the last human here, and off I go, rescue. Right, and so that's I think uh, that's kind of it. That's uh, that's where I hope uh, to get the game in the future. Um, uh, anyway, it's it's already there. It's it's just that uh, hopefully I will then have like this kind of like roguelike um, progression where you start in the west and you go to the east and slowly it gets more and more. It's harder and harder. Uh, but every time, basically, except for maybe some boss fights, uh, you will have the opportunity to scout the area uh, to you know put mines somewhere, to put smoke screens somewhere else, to maybe disrupt some kind of communication lines or maybe even supply lines, and then you hit and and run, you know? And I think that's uh, that's better than just uh, fighting because you, you have more options. You can, at every point, you can either fight or run or try to evade somehow. Uh, some some other way like you go you can um, you can of course hack and stuff like this so anyway uh, that's that's an update for me it's very short uh, if you've been wondering like what am I working on even uh, you know I've, I'm always showing the same kind of map and everything this is the problem with game development is that uh, in the I mean one of the problems with game development is that at first it's easy to create some kind of a prototype that works pretty okay and it looks pretty okay uh, but a lot of the things are um, just faked you know uh, but obviously as you progress you have to make those fakes things into an actual <laughs> working thing and uh, so uh, as we progress with this game it's getting harder and harder um, I mean it's you know, it's weeks or months between different sections of me being able to show you something that's cool and new, because the stuff that you've already seen, well, they now are not faked, but you've already seen them. So, you know, um, anyway, so that that's it for now. See you next time.